Hey, puppers. How you doing, buddy? Hey, oh, sorry, this is the wrong end. I probably shouldn't be focused on that. <laughs> oh, Lord. I really should quit smoking. But I'm not gonna. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so uh, I was just watching a video and reading a story from uh, City Pulse or CP24. Or, I don't know. When I was younger, it was called City Pulse. I'm not sure if it still is or not, but whatever. It's CP24 now. Um, anyway, um, so as I mentioned this morning about uh, the, the the school boards wanting to uh, to do the uh, keep the mandates in place for the masking for the kids. Well, Doug Ford did an announcement today, and during the uh, for a hospital, he was opening up and. You know, they're finally spending $30 billion into healthcare, upgrading hospitals and everything. Wow, two years later and we're finally gonna start putting money in. Of course, this is over 10 years to come. So, but hey, we're doing something <laughs> to actually treat the problem instead of, you know, trying to pre-treat it. Um, anyway, um, he got questions at the end there and uh, he was asked about extending the mandates. I want to keep puppers in the frame there. Uh, he was asked about keeping the mandates. And, you know, as much as I'm not a fan of Doug Ford, I got to hand it to him. His response was kind of on point. He turned around and he says, okay, you, uh, thanks, Engine, for, you know, just doing that. Yeah, doing a death burn while I'm in the middle of a video. Anyway, uh, <laughs> he says, uh, the school boards and the trustees are not medical experts. That they should listen to the medical experts and follow suit with the medical advice of removing the man the mask mandate. Um, he also pointed out that uh, Ontario is one of the last places to remove the mask mandate. Uh, even BC has removed it as of today or whatever. Um, I thought that was kind of a nice way to, you know, enough with mandates, but he did also reiterate um, in a separate question you know if you feel comfortable wearing a mask wear the mask if you want your kids to wear the mask then you're okay with that but you can't we can't mandate this stuff anymore you know it, it's ridiculous hey but I also saw the Toronto School Board as they're trying to convince Ford to keep the mask mandate in place has uh, we got another baby step towards freedoms um, Wow, the focus is really going wonky here. Or is it just my eyes? Old man eyes? Anyway, um, he, the Toronto School Board is, as of the 14th of March, is lifting, lifting the VAX mandate for employees, for, the, for them. So that's another baby step. We gotta keep making these baby steps. Keep the pressure on. I know the media is trying to distract us with uh, with Ukraine, but we need to keep the pressure going. Keep on them, keep on them, keep talking, keep saying something, keep keep sending letters, keep calling them, just don't stop. Sorry I'm talking about Ontario, but Ontario is kind of where I live, so I gotta, I'm kind of focused on that one. But uh, yeah, hey, look, I got a coworker <laughs> over there. Uh, anyway, um, I still haven't heard from my boss. I'm still stuck here in Calgary. Um, I'm probably gonna give him a call soon. I'd like to have tomorrow off because I'd like to go to the Calgary uh, protest. I think that'd be kind of cool. I'm gonna do my best to try and get that. Anyway, welcome to the Fringe, everybody. Say welcome to the Fringe, puppers.